This is our 67 Ford Falcon. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, there will be a very slow paced walk around of the car. Uh, following that, I will do a second walk around where I will show close ups of each of the cosmetic blemishes on the car. So the car, the 67, was delivered new to Highland Park, Illinois. Uh, I traded hands a couple times locally before we purchased it out of the same Highland Park area. Uh, this green color is actually not the original color. Uh, a paint gauge shows readings of about a 9.0 around the car, which are consistent with one repaint. The original color was a medium gold metallic. Uh, the black vinyl interior is still original and unrestored and in really nice shape. So the car does have a handful of blemishes, uh, particularly in the paint that you will see later in the video. Uh, a couple spots where it's faded a little flat. But the body itself is very nice and straight. Um, it's complete. We have all the trim pieces. Uh, the glass and light lenses are all clear and crack free. Uh, the wheels are in nice shape uh, with no significant damage or oxidation. Uh, the tires are in good shape, though we are not positive how old they are, so we'd recommend replacing those sooner rather than later. You can see a little bit of that fade there on the trunk lid as well as on the roof. The car obviously has a bit of an exhaust leak. Runs and drives well with the exception of A, that exhaust leak, and B, a failing accelerator pump. Uh, so when you get on the gas, you kind of kind of roll onto it instead of stomping on the gas pedal. the body is very good you know along the rocker trim a lot of the time we'll see you know rust there around the bottoms of the quarters and stuff like that but no this car is uh, pretty well presented down there so here are all of the blemishes on the car uh, the front bumper, you can see there's a little bit of oxidation up at the top, just around the edges. And then the passenger front fender has a couple blemishes there. Some small bubbling along the hood crease line. See a little ding, a couple chips there bottom of the door on the passenger side. And then as we work our way around to the back, you'll note some more light oxidation. And then behind the bumper, there's a little bit of bubbling there. Nothing severe, but you know, worth noting. And there is that fade on the trunk lid. You can see it, the finish is just a little bit flat as opposed to shiny. There's a scratch there, right by the fuel filler. And then usually around these, you know, wheel well flares and the quarters, we'll see a lot of bubbling. This really not so much. It's a, it's a pretty nice dry body car. A little bit more there, corner of the doors. You know, the typical spot. So the interior is uh, pretty much the highlight of the car. The door panel is very nice, no kicked open markings. The top of the dash pad, very nice, no cracks. Uh, really minimal wear in the interior. The radio and the Autovox tuner below it are functional um, and sound quite good. Uh, the heat, fan, blower motor, all functional. The interior lights are all functional. The turn signals, uh, the fastened belts light underneath the dash. There's just a better look at the uh, top of the dash pad. 
there is obviously a burst there at the top of the outer bolster of the driver's seat. And then there is another spot on the driver's seat on the uh, inner bolster, you know, more towards the center console area. Passenger seat's very, very nice. Rears are super nice as well. And you'll note that the, uh, the seat belts are actually still in the plastic protective wrapper. Uh, which we have to imagine is original. Uh, there's really no signs of wear in the back seat. Carpet's a little tired, but no significant signs of wear.